welcome to my channel electronics plus today i am going to show you how to generate digital signal using labview and ni usb 6008 attack vision card the labview software generates digital signal of 5 volt as logic high and 0 volt as logic low through any digital io port of ni usb 6008 attack vision card that can be used to turn on and off the LED. To demonstrate that, I am using these components. One red LED, a 330 ohms register, a breadboard, some jumper cables, and one screwdriver. Let's go to the circuit diagram and understand the connection. Here, the anode of the LED will be connected to any digital I.O. ports of the protection card let it be P0.0 and the cathode of the LED will be connected to ground terminal via a 330 ohms complementing register as per the condition of the digital signal generated through port 0.0 the status of the LED will be changed let's make the physical connection Here the red wire connects anode of the LED with port 0.0 of the attackation card and the yellow wire connects the ground pin of the attackation card with the register that is connected to the cathode of the LED. That's it for the hardware. Now come up to the PC for software code. Now open the lab view and create new VI and in the block diagram take DAC assistant express VI. In the configuration panel expand generate signal then digital output then click on line output. We know that digital side have two ports port 0 having eight lines and port 1 having four lines since we have to use only one line so select line output if you would have to use all lines of the port we can select port output before selecting any line or port make sure that usb cable of that is connected to the pc and the usb 6008 attention card has been detected now select port 0 line 0 that means port 0.0, .0 and click on finish a new window will appear if you want negative logic data output check the input line 
that means if you generate if you generate config one from the lab view the DAC will send config zero to the hardware and vice versa here we don't have to change anything keep the setup as default we can quick check our hardware connection here by clicking over the round button once and toggle the output line you can see the state of the LED is also toggling now click on stop button and then click on ok and let the VI to configure the DAC now as usual for continuous data generation we have to keep our code inside a while loop create the stop button at the conditional terminal to stop the VI to control the iteration speed of the while loop put a wait a 100 millisecond delay inside it now in the front panel resize the stop button and place it in the center in order to generate digital signal, we need a toggling switch. For that, right click over the front panel. From the boolean control, take the vertical toggling switch. We can rename it as switch and of course resize it. Now, in the block diagram, connect the output of boolean switch to the DAC assistant data pin. Oops, there is a broken wire error. We can see this error by clicking on this button. The error says you have connected two terminals of different types, that is, the type of source is boolean. It is true or false, but the type of thing is 1D array of booleans, it is true or false. Let's close the window. We have to convert the single data to 1D array of single data. So that go to array menu and drag and drop the build array. Connect the output of the switch to the input of build array and the output of the build array to data assistant. Now there is no error, everything is fine. If you want to give a multiple data to the array, then there will, there will be no error. Everything looks fine, but if you run the program, if you run the VI, there will be a runtime error and the error shows or the write cannot be performed because the number of channels in the data doesn't match the number of channels in the task. We have selected the task as 1, that is 1 IO port, but the number of channels in the data is 3, that is from 1 from switch and 2 from the constant. So let's stop it and delete the constants and resize the array to a single bit. Now for our visual indication, take one LED in the front panel from the boolean control toolbox and in the block diagram connect the output of the switch to the input of the LED. So that if we toggle the switch, the corresponding status will be shown by the LED. Now we have a virtual display of our hardware LED as well. That's it. Now run the VI and see what happens. Initially the switch is at off state. As we toggle the switch by clicking over it, both hardware and virtual LEDs 
in this they are states simultaneously that's it we successfully demonstrated the digital output operation of ni usb 6008 that cat with lab view if you learned something from this video please do like it and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching